Hi, welcome back. This is the second video in our parallel RLC series. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the current values which we solved in the last video in our three different branches and we're going to combine them and we're going to solve for the current total in the circuit. So just like every parallel circuit, our I total is going to be I1 plus I2 plus I3. Only now we have I1 occurring at 0 degrees across the resistor, I2 occurring at 13 point, or at, sorry, at negative 36.87 degrees across the coil, and I3 at 90 degrees across the inductor. So what we do is we take these three values, I1 plus I2 plus I3, but we're going to put them into a HV chart. So we're going to add up all of our horizontals and all of our vertical values. So we get 16 amps, keeping in mind H is the cos function, and V is the sine function, and 0. We get 10.666, and we get negative 8. It's a negative angle, so make sure when you're putting it into your calculator, you use that negative angle, or you go 360 minus 36.87 to get that proper angle. And then here we get 0 and positive 6. So we add up all our horizontals. 16 plus 10.666 gives us 26.666. And we add up our verticals. Negative 8 plus 6 gives us negative 2. Perfect. So what we've done is we've taken all that info and we've said, okay, if I'm starting here, I'm going over 26.666, and I'm going down 2. So we're making our own little current triangle. Perfect. We can use Pythagorean's theorem and figure out our IT, which would be right here. It's 26.741. So we have IT equals 26.741 amps figure out our angle, we use any one of our Sokotoa functions, and we should get negative 4.292 degrees. So that's this guy right in here. And the reason I know it's negative is because my total out of phase voltage is a negative value. So now our last step is to take that, our IT, and bring it over here to our phasor diagram. So IT will be somewhere around there. Perfect. So that's what we do to solve for IT in this circuit. Now the last thing I want to talk about really quickly is the total impedance for a circuit. Now the only way we're going to solve for total impedance in a parallel circuit is by going ZT equals ET divided by IT. We are not using any impedance diagrams for the entire circuit in parallel. Uh, I'll leave that calculation up to you guys. Thanks and please watch the next video where we talk about power in parallel.